What he could, excuse me, what he could have been capable of, what he would have done uh, in situations that we didn't get to see him in, but now, knowing that he's pretty much a gone character, it hurts that much more to know it's on everybody else to defend the Soul Society, and even once he was hit with a powerful attack, he was still, still fighting with his lower half pretty much missing. So this is the type of stuff that really makes you think there is no future for these characters. This is the stuff where you're just like, okay, well, is there any possible way for them to, you know, get out of this? And yeah... Now seeing Ichigo lose his cool, and mind you, he was in his Bankai form the whole time, uh, and nothing he could do could even put him in a position to scratch these people, right? Like, he was trying his hardest, and his hardest was nothing in comparison of these Quincy, but I thought that was a really cool part nonetheless was giving us more and more reason as of why Ichigo was even surviving the attacks he was surviving by having um, some Quincy in him which has been spoiled to high heaven not only thanks to this look look may hold the bow may hold the bow um, but also because of just in general uh, people love to talk about it so of course, your boy got spoiled. Uh, I can't even act like I didn't hear that this Ichigo wasn't a Quincy already in some way, shape, or form. Um, so, he is now a hollow, soul-reaping Quincy. <laughs> He's everything. So, he can beat ev anybody type stuff. So, I think that's a big reason why some of the stories you know, get kind of flack, you have a character who has literally everything within him, but at the same time, never knew about it until the time was right, right, like the classic trope of most anime, oh, I have this extra potential, potential, and I didn't know I had it, oh, but good thing I found it in this battle, because I would have been dead, Actually, now that I'm looking at it, there is a weird win condition for this character. Um, he doesn't want Ichigo dead, which is how a lot of bad things happen to uh, villains in this show, <laughs> right? Like, I am the ultimate villain and I care about no one but you, Kurosaki Ichigo, so I'll give you special treatment. Like, Aizen gives him special treatment, doesn't make him see the the version of his sword where he would just see illusions because he wanted a challenge. And now here we got the Quincy King not wanting to kill Ichigo because he wanted to already control and retrain him ever since he was born. Meaning his mom might be somewhat of like royalty to uh, the main villain. I'm not entirely sure. Regardless, it is getting pretty interesting to see what Bleach is storing up for me because not seeing any of it definitely has me pretty happy to know that all of these battles and all this stuff is just going to be epic new stuff for me. Not so much for others, but regardless, your boy going to be here excited about it all, even in the hard times where we're seeing our favorite characters fall. So take care, everybody. Have an awesome one. Thank you so much for the support. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will definitely be dropping some more content for y'all sooner than later. So that being said, take care, and peace.